Warbaiter, welcome back to Dino Dropa Trigger at the end. Last time! Well, I'll let Makoto recap what happened last time. And Boomy's body discovered in the nurse's office. Taka's body discovered in the equipment room. I was witness to two nightmares, one right after another. They weren't nightmares, this is harsh reality. True nightmare is reality, the reality I have to face every day. Still. Yeah, the last time we had two bodies. Oh boy. These are always, uh, fun chapters, I guess. Uh, uh we'll get to this. <gasps> Togo? Don't tell me Togo, too. Hmm. Oh, actually, this path happens to all the blood. The blood? Oh, that's right, when Togo is up, Togo, she has a fear. What, huh? Hey, I didn't get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her be for now. Like you said, I should sleep for a long time now. Forest car with toxic dying blood. Another hammer. Not just, just this hammer form, it's even bigger than before. Is that suspicious individual or also killing Taka too? However. But why is it just this hammer four? What do you mean? Hmm. Well, this was attack with Justice Hammer 1, and then it moves with Justice Hammer 2. Time just Justice Hammer 4. What happened to Justice to number 3? Ah! What? <sighs> What's the matter? Well, when you mean just hammer three, you just reminded me. What? How about it? Do you know something? Actually, talk about the only one that's been killed. If Fumi's dead too. What? Hey! If Fumi's been killed. Yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. Then we better go check it out. Dead. Of course. Come on. The so soccer Biaki and I rushed out of the physics lab. As soon as we were out of the physics lab. Oh. Ah. So last time you're supposed to be waiting in the nurse office. Oh, something has come up. Hmm. Yeah, I heard the Fumi is dead, right? Indeed. Well, that is not all. It is gone. What's gone? It has disappeared. Disappeared. Okay. If Fumi's body has disappeared. What? What, what, did what are you, you talking say? about? Disappeared? Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck is happening? Hey! Everyone, back to the nurse office. I practically left down the stairs and losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office and play out breath. I couldn't believe my eyes. I assume we thought he was there just a few minutes earlier. Did it just disappear? Me and Celeste went to the bathroom. We were only gone for like a minute. And then when we got back... Indeed. This must be the work of the culprit. They must have gone and carried the body away. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around frightened and confused. Okay. We're all going to die. We're going to die just like those guys died. What, what did you say? I don't believe this. I don't believe the body would just disappear. Why? First there were two murders, and now one of the bodies has been taken. This is unnatural. Huh? Oh, what do you mean two murders? He know. Taka's been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! It can't be Taka too! It can't be, it can't be! No! Hina. Hina, calm down. We're gonna die. All of us! They're gonna kill all of us! <laughs> then who might be the next target? Toko? Huh? What? I completely forgot. She's still unconscious in the equipment room. Well... Left her at the scene of the crime. <coughs> we didn't have a choice. Fast time she refused to wake up. Huh? So she's still unconscious. Damn. Wait, so you knew she was still up there and said nothing. Why? <laughs> and knowing what we would say, if they to be wherever I go, we'd be better off without her. Bastard! You bastard! <laughs> Calm down. You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone, stop fighting. Right now, we need to hurry back. Huh? I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Damn. Okay, if something happened to I'll never forgive you. <laughs> <sighs> we shot out of the nurse office and bolted upstairs, heading back to the third floor. We ran back to the equipment room at full speed. When we got there... Toko! Thank God you're okay. Right away I noticed there was something very different here. He was gone. Taka thought it should have been right here. It disappeared. This is... This can't be happening. <sighs> Are we hallucinating all this or something? No, it's not hallucination. I know I saw it before. What I'm seeing now isn't what I saw before. Huh? Well, what? Are you saying Taka disappeared too? Stop talking. Not saying disappeared. It just didn't just fan in there. Obviously, whoever did this is in the body. But why would they do that? <laughs> I couldn't possibly get into an Okay. Anyway, our constant suspect is clearly continuing his crime speed. <laughs> we gotta hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us. Not possible. I don't think you had to worry about that. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Well... Um... Hmm. But if we make death crap enough, everyone here is here on third floor. It is so. 
after that, we split up into two groups. Hmm. <sighs> and now this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who did have done this are here on Kyoko. Don't miss it. Hold on a second. It was an hour for less than a few minutes attack. Don't quite that she was in dining hall with us. Hmm. You seem to have been telling her. Perhaps you are in love. That's not it at all. That's fine. Uh, yes, I do accept the other job. Let's see. The inspector's in the looking for can be none other than Hero. Hmm. It's fair being told no more murders. We're really, they're very clear about that. That's right. There's a rule that says you can only kill Max from two people. That's right. Uh, if that rule's in place, there will not be a third murder. They were able to break that rule. Shing! <laughs> I meet ya! Meet ya on second thought! Meet ya, Gordon! Turn in the paste! Oh, do you have this paste in the Russell for yourself? It's like turned for crabs. Okay. <laughs> In me. Let's see. Since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. Perhaps. You know, from the beginning, didn't you, Bianca? You mean you knew to have never made her. <laughs> I feel meant when I said we'd better off without her, though. In other words. Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for two missing bodies. The two missing bodies. Two people have been killed, and their bodies have been hit. The only one without an alibi, the only one who could have done it is Hero. But is he really the killer? Not Kyoko. Is she not involved in this case? Where'd she go? What? I cut up with the matter. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Whatever, we need to find those bodies, or our little narrative here can't move forward. So then... Oh, well, then let's split up and begin searching. But... But! <laughs> there's no need to be afraid. No one on will take place during this case. Has... I mean... I know that! I mean, I think I do, but... You know. If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Huh? <gasps> okay, thank you. <clears throat> no need to thank me. <laughs> then let's get moving. Yell out if you find anything. I can't let the equipment room fall by the others. Try and find the two missing bodies. Well, we need to do... <gasps> God, throat! There's a few little things that we need to do. And what we should do. Huh? The door must be locked. It's odd. And I wanna look at- Thank you. Huh? Where did two dead bodies disappear to? Damn. We need to search for bodies that disappear. What happens after that? There. Yeah, this is another one of those cases of look around until something happens. Until something uh, happens. So, we go in here. Nothing's here. We leave. Go into this classroom. Nothing in here. What going up? Come on. Why just stand there? We need to get there with Hawthorne. You mean? Indeed. <sighs> I found them. Let me talk as by the both from deep and, and then Hawthorne. But it was just locked. I wanted to show that. It was just locked. Goodbye. I told Hina and Sakura we'll go on ahead. Their bodies were in their repository. Yeah, the game's definitely consistent there with the fact that, okay, it was locked, huh? Boom, boom, boom. Are the bodies here somewhere? Up ahead is there a pot right? We're not turned. I guess it's unlocked. But I have no choice to put it on time. So I opened the door. When I entered, I saw... The two bodies that disappeared were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. I saw before my eyes unquestionable, unavoidable, one wavering reality. And then I heard the announcement for a second time. <sighs> a body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Hmm. <laughs> and so here we are! It's Without further ado, let me give you all the next Monica in the file! <laughs> I was gonna animate out when you found the body the first time. I thought, thought something might happen. What? I was really hard to resist. It turns out I was right! Stop talking. It's hand over already. Punishment is waiting for you. Now make sure you have to keep it all your mental thoughts. Prepare for the class trial. See ya later. See you later! Hmm. Well then, now that we found the body, don't let this come to cold. What the heck? Hold on. Be so, so calm. I mean, they're dead, you know? That's terrible! Dead, gone forever. They're never coming back. Look, this is all just too awful. He suddenly burst into tears. Plus that of Fumi's lifeless body. Who, who would do this? Why? Why? Large white tears fell from her eyes. Tears landed on Fumi's cheeks. 
This is some kind of world make believe. That might have been when I filmed me opening his eyes. <sighs> but this wasn't a movie. This wasn't. He's alive again? Where am I? Cold. So cold. Is winter coming? Hifumi! Wake up! Huh? Ah, that's right. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember everything before. I met you all. I met you all. <laughs> His memories are all blending together. He has nothing more useful to offer us. Oh, the light. It's reaching out to me. Like the tail of a comet. Hey, Ifumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Yasu. Bro. His eyes closed, and then he never opened again. Death for a second time. Absolute undeniable death. No matter how many more penis tears splashed his face, there was no second there, but reality sat in him. <laughs> Some stereotypical fans were up to his camera store a person's vitality. Yeah, this ain't the Pokemon movie! Honestly. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins. No calcium in your bones. At least you have your meat. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. Asking him to become exceedingly boring. <laughs> you said Yasuhiro, right? Then perhaps... Yasuhiro Hukaku, right? The only person you have been referring So, in other words... And with that, the case is solved. Has something people even killing talking to me? And going so far as to hide their bodies. I'm gonna hide his face behind a mask and use a bunch of giant one hands. Is that what Hero is? What is this? That's true, I can't forgive him. No way I can ever forgive him. Kill two of our friends. That's fine. It's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. <laughs> this time it's not all that life or death. The trial concludes up into trouble. Indeed. Yes, it does look that way. It's gonna begin again. We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. I have no choice of the truth to make sure everyone survives. I just have to do it. First, I better check them on the camera file. The victims were Fumi Yama and Kiyotaki Izumara. The cause of death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it? Very strange. Yeah, it's very strange. We got way less information this time than before. <sighs> I have no problem. I've thought the events of the case unfolded before our very eyes. We should know more about what could happen than the monk file could anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well. There's something else that bothered me. Hmm. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Talking about Kiyotaki. Perhaps. I doubt she has no way for the selective of her attack. What the girl was acting a little what they had accomplice. Accomplice! <laughs> An accomplice! <sighs> what are you doing here? Monokuma <laughs> appears! Okay, Ruth, I need to answer your question. What question? Yep. You're talking about accomplices, right? Pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I, during the first last round? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? In other words... So basically, you mean accomplice if you want, but there's no verification in it. So then... They're saying nobody worked there this time either. Hey! Um... Oh, I feel like that stuff that the seems to be made, didn't you guys? That's what makes you don't forget, no matter how much money sits in murder. Phew! Only one black can graduate. Accomplice against nothing! So in other words... Well, I just with that one black and use it to the killing, right? Just like normal? Well... Okay, okay, let me take this opportunity to clarify the little thing. That's not true. What you need to remember is... The one two black and divide the murder plot and put it in action. True black and just one person. Well now... I think I'll never explain it fine. I'm finding out five out between all of you and the black. Good luck, Dylan. Good luck, Dylan. There will be one black and accomplice wouldn't benefit. I can't see any way Kyoko will be connected to this case after all. <laughs> and you're right. Um. That's true then, Kyoko. Where are you? However. As long as she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed. Absolutely no doubt that you're responsible. For time being, I suppose can't pursue further information. So, um. No, don't you think we just consider a certain someone suspect of the case? But the murder scene dance by Jack. What the fuck? I'm offended! 
You win did you? <laughs> I'm gonna go in faster when I woke up you were nowhere to be found! Anyway, you did a milk sack swimmer girl! Huh? Milk sack? You gotta be! Why do I gotta be a suspect? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. So what? I'm like a special case suspect every time. I have an alibi, you know. Hmm. She's right about that. I heard a family scream she was with me. When the body disappeared, she was still lying conscious and we put in her. Plus, talk is body slide. I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move if we thought. Yep. <coughs> Besides, I can't get every move I make. I'm not going to kill someone who knows what I look like. <laughs> and tell me murder scheme for nothing. What are you saying? I'm not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see. Another topic. Should we post the guard by the body like before we can't have this secure and So then. You don't act man blood. You don't mind, do you, Ina? Hmm. Sure. I'd be totally useless on investigation anyway. It's all clear now. And it's that. Let's begin. This whole thing is so strange. Although one of us has an alibi, so figuring out who it did it should be obvious, right? But maybe just me, I don't think we have straightforward scenes. This case can be a little bit complicated. So complicated, in fact, that if you talk to Sakura, hmm. Man, it's just the incident this time. Too many, to be honest. Sorry, man, maybe you could look back on everything that's happened. So then. Well, you like my help. If you ask Sakura for help, you'll look back on multiple aspects of the case that happened before again. It's not actually required in order to progress, and we're going to be going over the case a lot in Chapter 3, like to the point that you repeat stuff, a lot of the same points, a lot during the actual trial. That it gets annoying. So, we'll hear this in the trial. We're fine. There are hammers of all different sides hanging the wall. Those are more like mallets. Mallets. It's just as hammers have been designed using these as a model. The way all hammers care of objects we've seen a lot of use. All covered in debris and chalky silver powder. There's four missing. For some reason, this one hammer isn't dirty at all. It's wet. It's on a wash every so. Maybe a little more than four. Taka, you'll never move again. Corner Monk from the file. Taka could die from a blow to the head. We found just as hammer four near his body in the equipment. Which I believe you to kill him. There's a tarp laid out over his body. You could use this to move Taka's body. That way there wouldn't be any blood left on her body to move. It's a dolly. It doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess it used, it's used to move statues around. Kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Oh, wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? And look at the wheel. There's a blood stain on it. The blood on the wheel of the dolly that was moved from the equipment into the repository. What's the explanation for that? If it was big, cold bodies lying on the floor, his really big body. I mean, how on earth did the carrier ever move something so big? The nurse office where you discovered to hear their hot story. All the way from the first floor to the third. All of a sudden, no say. Well, how the hell? It's no bad. I just don't get it. I think about later for now, I'd have been infected and fooling himself. And correctly, if Philly's fatal injury is also a blow to the head. Probably even just his hammer through, but he's laying on the floor in the nurse office. Wait, something's off about a body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about it his body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. That's it, it's glasses. When his body was in the nurse's office, the glasses were covered in blood. But now they're completely clean. Does that mean someone wipe his glasses off? Who would do that and why? Yaki, do you think Hero really did it? Hmm. I don't see how I could think otherwise. When you attacked murder and down, it's disappeared and all happened. Every one of us had an alibi. Last thing that we said when he died. Yeah, he said Hero's So, made. in other words... I never respect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why would he hide that any of that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as it stays with her. But he's a fool this century, you see. I mean, he is kind of dumb. Do you think that's enough to explain it? I think there's a clue hidden in there somewhere. What? And is that it? That all that bothers you about the case. Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why'd the character try to hide the bodies? Hmm. Well, I figured that if we couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. In this case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? <laughs> Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all there is to it? You're nothing that bothers me. Why'd they bother killing two people? What? Because all the rules said that if you can kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? If you're a killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. I see. Hold on, perhaps. I see, so that's what that means. Is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me in different parts. What's with that attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this after all. His mysterious words are going to hear as the altar of <coughs> He talked as if he figured something out. But if he did, wouldn't he kill him and tell me what it was? Uh, now I'm going to attempt to leave the room. There's only one way in and out of the room. There's definitely a lock on the door, but it can only be locked from the inside of the pod door. Don't send me a way to lock it from the art room. That's the clue that you need. So, I'm, um, I've been thinking about something. Another pop story. What is it? Hmm. 
But there's no need to hide the because we can split up to look around, right? I was pretty scared, so me and Sokka are stuck together. Right. And we came right to the Pottery, you know, look around. We got here, Pottery is locked, and we couldn't get inside. It's locked. Yeah, mm. I did that before. He here soon to start third, so I know someone could beat us here. That's true, we lock in wise and long now. I wonder if the same thing. Let's lock them and search for bikes if you're not wide open. Must be some secret work now. Probably have to leave this area to figure it out. Yeah. The door can only be open from inside her pocket. It makes me wonder. In soccer, both can open the door with lock and search for bikes you can. The door's designed to be only locked from inside her pocket. In other words, we need to check if someone already gone through her pocket and locked the door. When they are done, they locked it and left. It's wide and locked now. A certain someone. He can't even wait someone could have beaten him in a pot right. Are the killers still roaming free or was it one of the victims? It's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe check somewhere else. Some place I already know about. First in their software where Fumi is found. The equipment room we're talking about. Found. To the equipment room! Bum, 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 bum. Let's go! And go to the equipment room. Yeah, enter the equipment room. I can delete genocide. Jack should be in here. I'm saving my room, killing the body wipe. Sir, pay them at sudden ultimate leader event. This tarp. I feel like I've seen some before just recently too. The tarp that was used to wrap Taka up. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me, I want the dolly in their pot story. There's blood on its tire. That blood had come from here? But you mean that Taka's body has been from including your pot or even dolly. Both rooms on the third floor, so it's definitely have been possible. But even dolly was using the Taka's body. What about a Fumi? Fumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with the dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. Still a total mystery. Just as Hammer 4, the weapon I was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon just left here. Down to the first floor. To the nurse's office. Just as Hammer 3, the one I was used to kill Fumi. Someone in the body that left the weapon behind. A fridge. I wonder if Sam dirt inside after everything but do a toy park. Maybe they could pee. There's a bunch of blood packets near the blood train people, I guess. Doesn't help me though, I'm not a vampire. It's just a normal trash can. Oh, oh there's something inside. I do smell the handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth? And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Ah, but it's also covered in blood. Oh! Ah, did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth? It's all bloody. But if this belongs to him, they usually wipe up some blood. Who wouldn't even do something like that? <sighs> no slightest idea. Neither, but I think it might be important. What are you investigating, Celeste? Mm -hmm. I'm not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around seeing if Hero might be hiding somewhere. Mm. What about you? Well, you know, I'm just checking this and that. Maybe thing on my mind is how someone could have moved a Vumi's body. Let's see. How oh, Vumi was moved, eh? It's appeared you're supposed to be it's supposed to be in the nurse office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. You know I'm not feeling well, so I stayed behind the wood after her. But he seemed to get worse, so I took her to the bathroom. When you got back, the body was gone. Mm. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two though. Yeah, I even said the same thing. But then the killer was able to get in and food his body out in that short of Indeed. Time. It would seem so. Very off someone's bigger to film in only a couple minutes. Can't think of any, anything less than impossible. <laughs> Hmm. So this is where you are. I've been looking for you. Yeah? Hmm. I want to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to. You ended up making this little game bar very interesting. Um, hmm. You should go to Hero's room. Well, let me give you this. This isn't no hero room to get us all meet up, right? Hmm. Do you remember well? Well, the penmanship is pretty remarkable. It's a left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? Oh, this is a trap. What is? <laughs> Things are ever more exciting. What are you talking about? Are you supposed to pay my debt? I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Yes, here's Mets Banana to True Bullets. Say they had a hero's room, but what's waiting for me there? We're gonna have to find out! That's the closest one. The door is unlocked? I guess I can go inside. Jackie did say to go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take a punch. 
this fucking room, God. This is your room. I'm kind of weird stuff here. Where do you even get it all from? I'm probably still hasn't turned off. Like, maybe you can't really complain about it. I don't get to turn this room, right? I think there's something in the cardboard box. Blueberry or something. Like Some things made out of it. Looks like cardboard, plastic, and plaster? Is this room of justice? It's in Hero's room. But wait, these bloopers. Something about them bothers me. Yeah, that handwriting ain't the same. Ah. God, oh, big news! Big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko! What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I haven't done it. Mark wasn't done. There's more big news. Just a second. Robo Justice showed up too. Robo Justice? Mm. It's here wearing a costume. Okay. And it assumes you can't head to the pool on the second floor. I don't care if Kyoko would turn up at the same time. I did to the pool. Ran out to the second floor as fast as I could. Kyoko and I mean oh, man, I had the worst day. Hero? Hero? Huh? Oh, I can't tell who else would I be. That's a good huh? question. Well, why do I look like this? I'm gonna go over now without sleeping with a new Illuminati! Okay. Right. I found Hero. Did you have a pool or a locker? Looks like he was fast asleep, but I kicked him and woke him up. Don't be me! I can't believe you kicked me! No, I've been over ten of all. Like, that'll press my face or something. What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all the time? You just appear all the time without a trace. Well. There's something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind! It's nothing. Never mind! Hey. More importantly, says that, but does she have any idea? Because you know people think she might be spying for the mask. And? First of all, Hero, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know that what happened. I woke up and then I was here. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about that cop and pay me this look. Huh? Well, I was up with this thing, but I can't actually get off a little help. <laughs> How would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? You got it all wrong. I didn't make the stupid freaking thing. It would seem... There's a clasp on the back that's keeping me from getting it off. That's very sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. I don't really have a choice. Let's help him. Look at him top. It's slowly going to get here out of the suit. Took a few minutes, but eventually you got all the pieces off. <laughs> Ooh, free at last! Hmm. Isn't that kind of weird how perfectly this suit fits here? So I don't find nobody but here will be able to wear that costume. Uh, um... Wait, wait, what? Oh, I'm talking. Honestly. Don't bother trying to act in this. The blueprints were nearly as well. Is that okay? I oh, it obvious to everyone you made this costume. <laughs> That's true, I saw a blueprint myself. Yeah, me too. Could it be? And Ollie, it's the one who put this costume on way around attacking everyone. That's terrible! It was Hero! <sighs> Can we climb up and gag him? Just the worst. Good idea. Wouldn't want him killing anyone else. Yeah. Tie me up. Oh my god, I think that's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect. He deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, attacking um... blueprints. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What the heck? You can't talk your way out of this. This time, you killed them. Please. No, no, no. I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake arrow running you around. Saying? The only one who can wear this costume. The most proud could possibly be the cop. What the heck? heck? No, the only one. Maybe you should try it for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine. If you're gonna be a jerk about it, I will. I'm missing a bit. Shouldn't that be without missing a beat? He just started putting on the Robo Justice costume. Huh. See, look. See how loose it is? I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. Hmm? Uh, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Probably not the best choice of words. Well, now. either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. And off, uh, Tina took the suit back off again. <sighs> well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh, um... <laughs> no, it's because you're a girl. If it was not our guy, then... <laughs> Makoto, go ahead. Okay. Against my will, I picked up the pizza off the floor and tried putting it on. It's no good, the arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. Just a second! See, I told you it was impossible. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Seems the costume is made to fit your body exactly. But. I mean, our costume, they must have one else to say, but it fits them. Honestly. I mean, it fits them time to find the show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> you claim there's a nurse studio, yes, then you must find and show us. <laughs> what the heck? Just the worst. Who cares? You're dealing with that now by doing this whole thing anyway. That's terrible. Well, okay, so how we know it was him? <laughs> What? Is it really true? I have no idea what's been happening, but can someone, like, tell me? 
What the heck? Um, if you don't tell me what's going on, I gotta supposed to understand. I can figure out that someone's been killed, right? I'm gonna call out who was it. Well, two people were killed talking to food. What? What? Two people! Just the worst. Are you freaking out? You did it. Please. I did not. Huh? Wait, hold on. Those two are the ones that were killed. How about that? That's it. I know who did it. So then. You may as well tell us then. Hmm. I can't afford to fight over all three, all right? I'm at least three. All three go and or two are on it. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Please. Unfortunate. What the heck? I'm trying to trick it. It's a bit that you did it, okay? Uh, um. Oh, dude, you got it all wrong. Oh, so. I know bad. that note. Note. Uh, um, Last night, someone slipped a weird note on my door. Here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Honestly, I can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's me in the record room when I Last <sighs> thing I heard was going to the record room, for some reason I fell asleep. Hey. The killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. Not a chance. So... No, hold on. He could be on to something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? But really? <sighs> I told you, someone's trying to set me up. A secret pass, a chance to see if someone wrote all that trick. <sighs> That's true, you must be one dumb fit to bite every... He's a bait that fucked in front of you. <sighs> well, it still bothered me that Makoto went to the dining hall after getting the note from Hiyasuhiro to tell him to go to the dining hall without any explanation why to go to the dining hall. That just, Makoto did the same fucking thing, and it's like, I don't know, I'd be suspicious of that shit. But, you know, whatever. Well, that's not being trapped here so long. You didn't know it's a lot. I still got a check, right? Yeah. Uh, I pray I might as well get out of here. They've seen me. <sighs> I don't buy it. Don't be mean. Well, you should buy it. Just a second! And it show us that note! Hmm. What pleasure? They're right here in my own pocket. No Looks way! Like I lost her. <sighs> yeah, sure. Please! Please, Please. do not believe me! I wish her a fly! <laughs> I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must be seven. Can you show us the note? I know we're taking issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh, what the heck? You're serious? Hmm. Come on, shall we resume our investigation? No time to wait before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. What the heck? Why'd you kill him? Tell us, hero. Uh, no, it's like I said. Just the worst. They're willing to get the money Monaco offered us? It must be, you must be totally broke, and that's why. Please. Wait, that's a false accusation. Someone help me. What are you saying? I think they couldn't found and can't you. <laughs> but I'm a young fan. I'm gonna search for your evidence, right? What? What? Uh, you're right, I need to look for a second suit in that note. Please don't fail me now. Guess better get back to guard duty. That's Togo and Jensai Jack to switch with me. Mm. The sheep's not around if I have a cat in her hands. Bye. Oh, I'm killed away. Makoto. Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. It would seem... Looks like I got a late start in this one, so I need to make up some ground. Sure, I'm not like you. Promise me something? Later, when we have time, can you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? No. Because <laughs> reject me so simply. Anyway. Anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Okay. Shall we go? Thanks. Now then, shall we? Hey. So, go. first I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses. I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl to see me. Correct. Their bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more usually than more than. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway. Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository. Guess we had that way for now. Bam, 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 Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 God! Uh, Box 15, which is the name of this song because there's 15 students, is so fucking good. Ifumi and Taka. I don't know if seem to go rigid. Only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. I was standing next to Taka, and I've had Tate begin poking and prodding the bodies. I knew it. I don't know if I was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Those are so smooth. She was so calm. See how comfortable she was, it actually made me feel a little more comfortable. I see. Oh, I found something. You did. Hey. Remember the wristwatch talk always wore in his left hand? You did? Whew. You're so pleased there are people around. Do you dislike other people that much? No, that's not it. Anyway, so you said he had a watch. So then. Take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands are moving, right? It's most likely broken when he had his counter with the sailor. Have you noticed the hands are frozen at just past six o'clock? Yeah. I mean, the watch was broken sometime just after six. That's right. Well, last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Hey, you! How long can I keep us waiting? Taka's here today, voice pierced the area's fear point and the wrist falls. It's almost ten o'clock, you know, that bedtime for all boy, little boys and girls. In other words... So if it worked at ten last night, it couldn't have broken at six p.m. Meaning it must happen around six this morning. However... And that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. He appears to be gripping something. You're right, there's something white in there. Makoto. Can you try and pry it out? Me? Because... We're getting more started to sit. Boys are first suited this kind of manual labor, right? 
okay. I'm glad I didn't want my raft to as cold ham. Nice cold ham is nearly enough to cut my heart to stop eating. I just saw my effort I was finally able to free the object for this type of kind of Piece of paper? Hey. What the hell he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. So a scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Is that right? I wonder about that. Go within turn of Fumi's body. So then. Let's check if Fumi's body now. There's another few clues in the bone. The biggest problem I have right now is how the camera is able to move for Fumi's massive corpse. From the nurse's office up to where he's going here to the hospital. Always from first floor to third up, and all of that even knows him. I just can't see how that's possible. Further, it seems that Fumi died from a blow to the head. He most likely killed using just his hammer three, which was found in the nurse's office. But. When we found the body in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered in blood. But we're now spotless. That means someone wiped the glasses clean, but who would do that and why? So did you find anything? Indeed. I did, more than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A lot of paper. That's right. The film he had a hidden on him. Hidden. Indeed. He stuffed it in his pants. I can only assume he hid it on purpose. In his pants? Wait, so you- Why is that? That's his pants, not like a sock or something. I don't know what that means! <laughs> Seriously, what does that mean? Hey. Anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto, open it up. I think of how it's stuffed on his pants. It's like, it better be important for me on there for you to this. A note. I found a hole. Maybe we can use to escape. As long as we can't find out, so I'm going to know it's now. It's unique when we're 6 a.m. So... That sounds very familiar. It's the same thing Hero said. And he was telling us However. the truth. That's not exactly the same, is it? We need the rec room at 1 a.m. And this, the time is different, yeah. Your folks didn't know said to meet at 1 a.m. But another other thing asked to meet at 6 a.m. I don't have the equipment right? room. Well, just because I feel we have a note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? So... Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. It's some meaning that part of it being ripped. Can you maybe explain a little more? Think carefully. Okay. Why would he have been clutching that scrap of paper so tightly? I have no idea. So then... If it wasn't just scrap paper when he was holding it, what if it was something more important? How would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. Hey. Well, Rad, I should tell you one other thing. Two victims sign definitely had their handbooks on them. Handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there's any reason to think they were exempt from killing in the first place. It's thing I don't have to think about handbooks this time, right? Is that right? If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't go on my way to mention it. All I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. Considering how the handbook gets used in the trial, Kyoko, you've already fucking figured out who did it. God damn it. To make a point out of where handbooks may play a role. Handbooks may play a role. I don't think I understand. The good thing is the board better keep in mind. Are you excited? Are you pumped? Oh, it's really? time for the class trial to begin! Like the bright burst of fireworks, like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death. And so, with no further ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot. Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! It would seem... It's unfortunate, I suppose, that our investigation comes to an end. You have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to a proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? Better get going. Okay. Let's go! My comments excited! I'm not so much. I had our Monokuma's proclamation, they were gathered by the red door. As soon as we were all there... Monokuma appeared! And now we're in the room! Need some ultra blind? Not none of the This is family because of an illusion! We so fast only looks like I'm ultra blind! <laughs> hey guys, tell me which one the real Monokuma! Whew. And we just got a meal of it already. Boy! You're not playing along, along, along! Stop talking. We're not here to play with you. Okay. Okay, okay, fine. Hey! Hey! And here we go. Big board to the pain train. Uh, elevator. See you guys down there. Let's go. Okay then, shall we? <laughs> Please! Oh, I'm not mentally prepared yet. What the heck? I'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away from anymore, here. You gotta pay for your sins. What the heck? What are you? I didn't do it for serious. Hmm. Finally, did you ever find the other cops for the note? <sighs> no, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, since see me have our culprit. <laughs> hey. Sit in the place to talk about. See if you act when we get to the courtroom. That's right. She's right. Let's get down there first. I'm sorry can really begin. Yeah, good idea. That's right. I have to... I have to do it. I can't let you ever kill the Fumi and talk and get away with it. For everyone who's still alive, and for two that lost their lives. Blood. 
The one who killed Fumi Taka, the one who killed two of our friends. The killer is... Someone right here. Damn. I don't like one of them with carefree attitude. Just the worst. Let's hurry on and go to the hero paper crimes. Hmm. Are you listening? Wait till we get to the court and we get your argument. <laughs> Do it appear so first can confirm. I'll be over in no time. <sighs> uh, listen to me, you gotta believe me. Ooh, yes, yes. Come on, Big Mac, let's do it! Hey. The story begins when we get down there. Not Celeste again! Took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. I began to walk toward the elevator. Once everyone was aboard, the doors closed on their own, and the steel box began to move. Clunking in the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. Until we sailed all this, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator door slid open, opening onto a cruel fate. <laughs> when I see all of you gathered together like this, I realize that how few of you are left. You're good as fully can climb at. Just the worst. I think out of you. Why well, well, you make us do such cruel things to each other? Well, why? Well, why do you hate me so much? I'm so cute! Come on. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Yeah. Don't rush me! Of course I'm gonna start it! I'm gonna be like, stay tuned for the action last half trial, nothing comes to break! I would though, because you know we're gonna end the park soon. Yeah. I never hold on to you like that! Okay, let's begin! Get to your side seats! And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, deadly betrayal. We go through this every fucking time! A real deadly defense, a deadly fate, a deadly class trial.